Guys, how's it going? Thank you for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I authenticate a Rolex. In this case, we're going to authenticate a nice Rolex date. And I'm not sure if you can make it out there. So, is it backwards? It's backwards. So we're going to authenticate this nice Rolex date. Um, I'm going to show you step by step what I do. And uh, follow along, hopefully. It's it's not that hard, you know. But a lot of a lot of places they open up the watch, they make sure it's a Rolex movement, and that's it. So the way I do it, I go step by step, and I'll show you guys uh, the steps I take to uh, put to uh, where I put my name on that watch. So uh, follow along, guys, and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. So the first video I made on this watch is how to change the crystal. So if you're interested in seeing how to change the crystal, I'll leave a link right up here. You'll see it right up here, right there. It should be coming up. So that's how to change the crystal on this watch. So when I authenticate it, of course, we're going to look at the uh, numbers. We're going to look at the serial number. We're going to look at the model number. And then we're going to go into our, uh, our paperwork and make sure that everything corresponds. That's number one. So we're going to do this by pieces. Okay, so what are we doing now? We're checking the movement. And we're going to check the case back, which is made for uh, right here. So we got all our proper signatures on the case back. And then we're going to check our movement. We're going to check our movement as far as the caliber number of the movement to make sure that this movement goes on this watch. So, as we could see here, it is an authentic Rolex movement, right? But, is it the correct calib caliber for this watch? So, right there, we go and we see it's a caliber 1570. So, once we go into the... Uh, uh, Rolex manuals and uh, make sure that this watch made this year in this case it's a 1985 rolex date make sure that this movement caliber was used for this this type of uh rolex and and this year because a lot of people they would have put uh, another rolex movement into this case another rolex date from a previous year and as long a lot of jewelers or a lot of watch guys, as long as they saw a Rolex movement, they would think it's 100% uh, authentic. And this is when we start getting into the technicalities of the watches. A lot of the ways that you can see if it's an authentic Rolex movement too, it's by the rotor. The rotor has its cuts right here. Make sure you can read the lettering on the dial. Like right there, we could read Montres, uh, Geneve. We could read everything while the dial rotates. That's another good way of uh, making sure it's an authentic movement with an authentic rotor. Now we're going to go into the bezel. So the bezel on a Rolex, if it's yellow, it's got to be gold. There is no gold fill in Rolex. So how do we make sure what type of gold it is? Is it 14 or is it 18? So I do a scratch test and I have my US standard gold tips here. So this old tool from the uh, 70s, 60s. So this is the US standard for all the gold that carat. 14 carat, 12 carat, 18 carat. So it's got to match up to whatever the tip tells us it is. Okay, so right here on this side, I have 18 carat. This is the bezel in the center, and this is 14 karat. So we'll start. So we're going to start with the 18 karat acid test. And we're going to go ahead and put a little drop in the front. And we could tell right away it is not 18 karat. See how it diluted the bezel? And the 18 karat to our right stayed strong. So the bezel is not 18 karat. So now we're going to do our 14 karat. Here's our 14 karat acid. And we will give it a go. 
there we go and it held up perfect for 14 karat so now we could say with a certainty that this bezel is 14 karat gold we're not guessing we're not guessing we're uh we're telling the customer it is a 14 karat gold bezel stop it's grabbing everything on the watch and just throw it into the ultrasonic we're not polishing we're not doing nothing it's just going to go into the ultrasonic for and that's it guys that's all we did to the rolex we disassembled it we made sure everything was authentic all the numbers were good that the uh serial number that the uh movement number that the case number everything went together with that 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 watch came that way from the factory we made sure it was a solid gold uh uh bezel we we had to make sure if it's an 18 or a 14 karat gold bezel so that way we know that the watch is all authentic and uh, we uh, I'll do a little bit of calibration on there and uh, I, I checked the numbers on it. It doesn't need a uh, service. So we will sell it as a non-service. Roll it. I thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.